Uh, I wrote that one in 2009. I've written so many that I have to use it. Might have to glance at it just to remember it, because there's no way I can remember everything I've written. I actually have a book out, and I'm working on my second one right now. So, yes, and I'm, like I said, I'm looking on the publisher for my second book right now. So, and that one there is in my first book. So. Are you self-published? It's a self-published, yes, but I'm trying to go mainstream if possible. So. Hi, I'm John Nelson. I'm a writer. I'm a poet, but I'm also a soldier full time. I'm stationed out here at Fort Sill, and uh, I'm just—I do this as a hobby. But I've actually gotten a lot of acclaim and praise for my writing, so everybody's telling me I need to try and get out there. So that's what what I'm working on trying to do. This is called Last Ounce of Soul. They do their job without reward, which some would consider selfless. They stand up for the weak, the downtrodden, and the helpless. A soldier's heart, mind, and soul is to always do his best, to stand up for the innocent, the tortured, and oppressed. A soldier's life is difficult. It always comes with a price. Missed holidays and birthdays are part of the sacrifice. They may be away from home, but their hearts are always here. Halfway around the world, the loved ones hold him dear. They do their best to guard freedom against those who do his harm. They come from the big cities, small towns, and from the farms. They come from different backgrounds, but they share one single goal. They will defend our nation with every last ounce of soul. Thank you. Like I said, it's hard for me to have memorized. I've been working on this all day, but I still didn't have it down as well as I thought I would hope. But we, we salute the fact that you're a soldier. Thank you. Oh, that's great.